In this lecture, I will discuss what are steroids, what are their types and what are their functions and what basic carbon skeleton or structural nucleus is present in all the steroids, in all the structures of steroids. So, what are steroids? These are biologically active compounds found in plants, animal and fungi and their two principal functions are these are component of biological membranes and act as signaling molecules. Almost all the steroids contain 17 carbon steroidal nucleus called as gonane or steran. So the main steroidal nucleus it consists of four rings A, B, C, D and if we see the ring D it contains it is five membered and all the other rings these are six membered the name of this nucleus is cyclopentano per hydrophenanthrene this type of nucleus is present in almost all the steroids if we see the common substitution present so, one methyl is present at this position, other at this position and at this position different groups or alkyl chains are present in most of the steroids. So, this is called as common steroidal carbon skeleton. Okay, if you see the types, so there are two principal type of steroids, corticosteroids and sex hormone and on the basis of their function I am classify the steroids into three classes corticosteroids sex hormones and other steroids so first of all let's see corticosteroids these are secreted from adrenal cortex glands and these are of two types glucocorticoid and mineralocorticoids glucocorticoid contain 21 carbons and the example of this steroid is sterol and function of sterols are very important because these are involved in the production of glucose through this pathway gluconeogenesis these have anti-inflammatory action these are immunosuppressive and involve in energy production mineralocorticoids and the example of this steroid is aldosterone remember I am discussing naturally occurring steroids aldosterone it act on uh, tubules of the nephron to uh, prevent water and mineral loss so it is involved in electrolyte and fluid homeostasis there are three types of sex hormone classes progestogens estrogens and androgens progestogens the example of this hormone is progesterone female sex hormone contain 21 carbon estrogen example of this uh, hormone is estradiol and it contains 18 carbon and androgens the example of this testosterone 17 beta hydroxy uh, testosterone so overall progesterone and estrogens are produced in female while testosterone and this hormones are male sex hormone the overall common function in their respective sexes is these involved in reproductive function, sexual differentiation, development and growth of the sex organs, secondary sex characteristics are the principal function of all these hormones in their uh, respective sexes. So another classified uh, uh, steroids which have different functions includes bile acids usually contain 24 carbons these emulsify fat during the digestive process cholesterol it is very important steroid in the body as it act as raw material for the synthesis of other steroids in the body it is component of biological membrane in eukaryotes and it reduce membrane fluidity ergosterol it is a sterol of fungi and when this is irradiated with ultraviolet radiation it is converted into vitamin d2 there are different types of vitamin and uh, one of the vitamin d contain 24 carbon involved in development of bone and 
the steroid found in nervous system are called as neurosteroids and they have many neural function so we can also classify or divide the steroids on the basis of number of carbon present so if we see the steroid contain 18 carbon includes this 19 carbon this and 21 carbon 24 27 28 so we can also classify on the basis of number of carbon so this is all about steroids and their types and their functions thank you very much